Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Mr. English, aka I Am English TV, and today this is going to be Techies Episode 8. I'm excited because it's been a while. Let's get to it. Right, guys so this week uh, alone and actually in the last couple weeks there have been a lot a lot of uh, things that come out uh, that affect the tech community and the gaming community as well so uh, I want to talk about a couple of things that have um, surfaced over the last couple weeks and um, just to just to get it out to you guys if you haven't heard already first things up I want to talk about is um, AMD's Zen uh, new Zen architecture. Um, the new Zen architecture is a CPU that they're going to be creating for next year. Um, is rumored to be between 14 and 16 nanometers. We don't know for sure. It's still a rumor at this point, but also the biggest thing to hit this week um, has been um, somebody has leaked. Um, you know the the actual format for what the this architecture is supposed to be. And so far, what's important about it that I want to relate to you is, is that it looks like AMD is finally going to be stepping up to the plate and they're going to try to challenge Intel. So basically what it looks like that AMD is trying to do with the new Zen architecture is pretty much a level the playing field. Now as hard as that is to believe, uh, trust me, it's very hard to believe, um, it's very possible for them to do that. They have been in such a rut uh, for a couple of generations now with Bulldozer and Piledriver. So this new Zen architecture would be a great refresh. The only thing I don't like uh, from what I'm seeing of the rumors is that pretty much the, the new Zen CPU that uh, architecture is only shaping up to be basically not even really on par with Haswell, with Intel's Haswell. Um, and that it is a head scratcher because it doesn't really make sense why you would come out with something new that can't even beat something that's old. I mean, Intel's already on Broadwell, and Broadwell E is about to release, um, hopefully early next year. Um, so I don't really understand that 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 mode of thinking. So I'm hoping that when Zen finally comes out, you know, it'll at least be what Haswell is now. You know, um, ideally, I would love it to be on par uh, with Haswell E. That would be a great start for them and um, it would definitely drive the market share down so most of us computer enthusiasts can now afford to freaking build shit. So next I want to talk about a company that has brought us pretty much um, the great delight of having lots of good good high bandwidth uh, memory um, especially when it comes to like video graphics cards and stuff like that. The company Micron is going to be battling HBM. Uh, now we know when the Xbox One came out, um, HBM has been a big talk since then for the last two years about all these you know great things that it can do and blah 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 and pretty much we haven't seen any of it work. So pretty much Micron is going to put out memory that can run twice as fast as the current GPU memory technology that we have now which is GDDR5. Um, and why that's important is because the the best cards that we have that are, that run at GDDR5 uh, runs about eight bit eight gigabits per second. So they're gonna double that. They're gonna have technology. They're gonna have memory that can run between ten and fourteen gigabits per second, and that's freaking mind blowing. It's crazy. Can it happen? Yes, they've already said it, it's gonna happen. So it's not a question as if it can happen, it will happen and it will happen next year. I'm excited because this is gonna make, this is gonna make gaming on PC freaking ridiculous. Uh, also, for those people who out there who do lots of workflow as far as um, 3D architecture um, and you know building and architecture you know, and all that stuff, it's gonna work, it's gonna be amazing. So rendering and everything is going to be really, really cool 
to, uh, to see what's going to happen in the future, and I can't wait. Next up, I want to talk about a little bit of gaming. Uh, Microsoft has just released a wireless dongle or adapter for Windows 10, uh, PCs, tablets, um, and basically what this dongle does is allow you to use your Xbox One controller, your Xbox One controller um, with your PC or tablet uh, wirelessly. Um, is that cool? Yes, it is cool. Um, it's only 25 bucks, 24.99 if you want to be exact. And um, really, I mean, what's the gripe? There are some gripes out there, people complaining. Um, I really don't understand why, but I kind of feel they're paying a little bit, uh, just a little bit. But for 25 bucks, you can use your controller that you already have. Um, some people have multiple controllers. Um, I myself only have one, but I still have my controller for my PC, my Xbox 360 wired controller, which I only paid like 20 bucks for back in the day. It still works fine, and that's what I primarily use on my PC anyway. Also, with my um, Titan One, I can use my PlayStation or my PS4 controller with my computer anyway. So that was a $60 uh, investment, which was a great investment. So if you guys are interested in the Xbox One um, controller working with the PC or a Windows tablet, remember this is for Windows 10. So um, make sure you get that dongle, it's 25 bucks, can't beat it. Next is also about gaming. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty cool uh, thing that I ran into this week and uh, it has to do with Steam and um, their new controller. Now, if you guys have not seen the new controller video that they've put out, it's called the making of the Steam controller. It's really, really cool. It's only two minutes and I mean, when you see what the process is for that controller, it completely blows your mind. It blew my mind because I, I, I know how controllers and stuff are made, but to see it in that kind of um, environment was really freaking amazing. It was really cool. And uh, the video is only about two minutes, two and a half minutes, and um, definitely something you should guys should check out. I'll leave the link below in the description so you guys can run over there and check it out. Uh, definitely make sure you guys run over there and check out this video. It shows the complete process of the Steam controller being built from the ground up and being packaged and shipped off. So freaking awesome. Uh, check it out. Last but not least, I want to talk about a video game um, that is built on the Unreal 4 engine and it is freaking cool. It's almost here. It's in alpha testing right now. Um, but I mean, this game looks freaking cool. The most important thing is that it has been built from uh, a company, a modding company, and their creators of Battlefield 2. And it is called Squad. Squad is basically like Battlefield 4 on steroids, but it's so, it focuses more on real simulated warfare. I mean, real tactical simulated warfare. It looks freaking crazy. I'm gonna try to show some video, um, but I'm gonna give you the link below in the description to also go directly to um, the website to check out and to also get involved with this movement, this game. <laughs> It's supposed to be coming early 2016. I can't freaking wait. I went crazy after I saw the trailer because it looks so damn good. Um, and it really looks like they did a good job trying to actually simulate um, real movements, real, just almost real everything. It looks freaking crazy. Uh, as somebody who does this all the time, it, it looks, it makes me feel really cool. It makes me feel really good and to see something like that is just like it's too cool. Almost too good to be true. So make sure you check out Squad um, and damn I hope you're ready because uh, this game would look freaking crazy in VR. I don't know if it'll happen but it'd be really damn awesome if it did. So as always guys if you like this video make sure you give a big thumbs up. Um, it's Tech Techies episode 8 and um, it's been a while since we've come out with one. Decided to start it back up and uh, I'm loving it. So let's get it started, let's get it popping, let's make it happen. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.